am Dr. Kartika from Corbiotic Ayurvedic Center. Before starting, let me wish you all a very happy new year. This is the first video in 2023 and this is regarding one of the major sense organs in Ayurveda that is Sarvendriyana Nayanam Pradhana. So uh, these are straight from classic points that is as per Sushruta Samhita regarding the causative factors for Netra Roga or the eye disorders. So uh, generally I am not linking anything to the modern aspect now. Uh, it is straight from the what Ajayda Sushruta has told is being elaborated one by one. So first point is Ushnabhi Taptasya Jala Pradesha. That is uh, this mainly involves drastic temperature fluctuation. Ushnabhi Tapta means if your body is heated up and Jala Pradesha means if you are having a bath like after your body is like heated up. So that means too much heat and then drastic temperature fluctuation. Same scenario can be correlated when you are coming out from heat to the AC atmosphere also. So in Dubai, I guess this is very relevant. Then Durekshana. Durekshana means gazing for longer time to uh, far off distances. So continuously looking on to far off distances as part of job or like maybe like it's our habit also. Swapna Vipareya. Swapna Vipareya means sleeping during the daytime and staying awake in the night time. Again, shift working can also be categorized in this one. Prasakta Samrodhana Koba Shoka. These are emotional factors. That is crying continuously, too much of grief, too much anger. These are also considered as Netra Yoga Nidana. Klesha, that is physical exhaustion. Abhighada, that is various type of injuries. This can be accidental or chemical injuries. Anything can come under this spectrum. Adi Maidhuna. Adi Maidhuna means excessive intercourse. Shukta Aranala Amla Kulatha Masha Nishevana. These are the dietary factors. That is, if you are habituated to too much of uh, several types of components, coarse gram uh, as well as uh, the black gram, that is the urad dal. If you are including these more in the diet as well as the fermented type of food, that is, it can be both alcohol as well as the vinegar containing food and like too much yeast that is anything fermented sour and this category of food if you are consuming a lot in your diet then this is also not good for the eyes. Vega Vinigraha. Vega Vinigraha means controlling one's natural uh, like urges. So this is purposeful suppression uh, of the natural urges. So again in Ayurveda there are 14 natural urges are there. These are like uh, uh, sleep, hunger, uh, going to the washroom as well as uh, sneezing, coughing, uh, so so many other. This itself can be dealt as a separate video. So purposefully when you are suppressing your natural urges, it is also not good for your eyes. Sveda Rayo. Sveda means like fermentation, that is uh, making you sweat. So again, this can be considered under the aspect of treatment as well as in your lifestyle. So if I am giving you more of steam or any other heat process while treatment, it is not good. At the same time, if you are exposed to too much heat atmosphere, even that is also not good for your eyes. Then, uh, Chakdir Vigada Vamanadi Yoga. Chakdir Vigada means if you are having a tendency to vomit, if you withhold it, as well as as part of your treatment or anything, if I am inducing more of the MSS, that is also a problem for you. Then, Dhuma Nishevana. Dhuma Nishevana means uh, like if Again, it can be categorized under the therapeutic heading as well as on a lifestyle basis. In therapy, we have Dhumapana as a treatment that is fume inhalations. So, if I am doing it in a wrong way for you, that is one criteria. And secondly, exposure to the natural pollutants, smoking, all these can be considered in this particular heading. Bashpagraha, that is withholding the tears. And Sukshma Nirikshana that is involving in tasks that are supposed to have like huge concentration that is if you are focusing on small small object best example can be like a repairing of watch or observing microscopic organism such type of task if done on a continuous basis also is not good for the eyes so this is as per Acharya Sushruta and this is known as the Netaroga Samanya Nidana that is a common causative factors for the eye disorders so thank you and have a nice day